Hello. Blessed be the name of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Please excuse me. God bless you. We bless the name of the Lord. How was your day today? Hope all is in divine order. Glory to God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hope you all have a wonderful day today, a wonderful Tuesday. Sorry I'm a little bit late, you know, I have to wait to hear what the Lord is saying to me before I, I jumped on. So we just bless His holy name tonight. Hallelujah. Just bless the name of the Lord. God bless you, man of God. How are you? Long time. Hope all is well with you. Hope all is well. We have a lot to talk about tonight. <clears throat> to reason about tonight. Glory to God. A whole lot is going on. A whole lot is going on. So much devastation on the land. We just have to pray for divine, divine help, that God will help us. The dev devastation, there's so much devastation. So we just have to ask God for divine intervention. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a lot that is going on right now. Throughout. You know, like I like I tell you, sometime I come on and I will hear the Lord say one thing or he will tell me to wait until I get on for him to and just work with me. I just flow with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, we're just going to see what the Lord is saying tonight. And we pray that all is well, all is in divine order. Everybody is doing just fine. And there was there is no death, sickness, or disease. We cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just bless the name of the Lord and give him glory and honor. We honor him tonight. As always, we just honor him and cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. You know, but it's time for us to arise. There is so much that is going on on the on the on planet Earth. There are so much, so many shifting, so much things that is going on. So you know, we just have to continue to pray for the nation. It's not, it's something that I basically like I command to do. You know, at first I was rebelling because I did not want to do it, but I I have to. It's 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 a command. So I just have to pray over the over the nation and pray God's strength for uh, strength for them and just pray that God will arise on our behalf and change the rule for our sake in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, my 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 flesh wanted us to pray the book of Psalms. That's what I wanted us to pray. But the Lord has something else. God bless you, woman of God. The Lord has something else in store. But I might still pray some of the book of Psalms tonight. Hallelujah. God bless you, woman of God. I will pray, pray some of the Psalms tonight because that's what, that's what I really want to do. But the Lord is shifting me in a different direction. And I just have to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
In glory to God. God bless you. So I'm just going to follow his leading. But I want him to arise and change and change the rules for our sake. I want God to change the rule for our sake. But right now he's telling me about so much that is that is happening. Um, tonight I want to read Psalms um, um, Genesis 49 and plead and beg for the rule to be changed for our sake in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we just bless God tonight. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. I hope you had a wonderful day today. I hope your day was good today. I pray that all was well, all was in divine order today for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that everyone is blessed and are doing good. All is in divine order with us. Hallelujah. I pray that all is in divine order in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, that God will get the glory and the honor and the praise tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We just want... We just want to decrease ourselves so that he may increase in us in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to decrease so he will increase so we can hear what the, the Spirit of the Lord is saying because devastation is on the land right now and we need, we need to comfort each other. We need to comfort each other. We need to help each other. We need to pray one for another because the land is like a doomsday. I don't, I, I, I see so much just meditating, just, just spending time, quiet time with God. There's so much that is going on. The, the, the fire, the thing that is um, going on, you know, and now I'm seeing mudslide. I'm seeing people, I'm seeing people dying, you know, by the time here the fire finish the fire finish you know we're going to be looking at thousands of dead bodies that we don't want and you know i know the lord say he will not come back with the flood he's going to come back with the water he's not going to come back with the flood he's going to come with fire here he's going to come with fire and um it's coming is at hand saints it's coming is at hand it's coming is at hand it's coming is at hand and you know there's things that we need to do you know when someone you hear someone say god bless you when he hears good night good night god bless you god bless you when you hear someone saying um to get your house in order i'm hearing the lord say to get your house in order but i don't there's no need for any panicking there's no need for panic you know it, it can be a spiritual house as well as your physical house so there's no need for any panicking and um you know giving away and you know we just wait on god and see what he's doing because he's doing something right at this hour so we just have to wait and we just have to watch and pray in the mighty name of jesus we just have to watch and pray in my meditation today there was so much that that he was saying and talking about and i was just i was just listening i was just listening to him sometime when I, I i was down and when he talked i would just post something he would say something and i would just post it god bless you woman of god he said something and i would just i would just condense it and just post it i'm asking you to please share god will bless your hands either way but I'm asking you to share for me in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, you, what we have to do, he was telling me that we, what, we should not take a man or a woman of God, just have them like casual, just treat them like a dustbin. We should just, we should just, we should just pray. Yes, it does. We should just pray and hold on to the unchangeable changers and in the mighty name of Jesus, because there is, there's so much that is going on. I'm trying trying out these glasses. There's so much that is going on. Oh, and this one is perfect. Hallelujah. So, you know, we just have to just 
pray because the land need purging. The land need purging. And we are getting a purge that, that like never before. And so, you know, we need to we need to encourage each other. God bless you, woman of God. We need to encourage each other and and leave from the morning situation and let our joy come in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to ask the Lord to change the rule for our sake in the mighty name of Jesus because we need a change by fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord was saying today so much. He was telling me that 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 favor need the wisdom to manage. When we get favor from God, we need the wisdom to manage our favor. You know, when we get favor, we need the wisdom to manage it because he's, go, he's just doing so much. He's just doing so much right now for us. But at the same time, it's like a doomsday. It says like a doomsday. So we want, we want to pray and ask the Lord to let the land, don't let the landscape be a moonscape. We are asking God not to let the landscape be a moonscape in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the land needs to be healed. The land needs to be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am going to read, I'm going to read the, the word. I'm going to read the word. I think I told you that you can read message Bible. Or whichever Bible you choose to read. But he brings me back to something that he had told me in 2010. January 7, 2010. I think it was January 7, 2010. I was in consecration for over two years sleeping on the floor in my closet. And when I saw that... And when I saw that earthquake in Haiti, the week before I wrote to my pastor and I gave him a C letter and um, tell him not to open it. And I heard the Lord so clearly, so vividly that said to me this time Monday morning and while I was there laying down on my side, um, they came from the house and they asked me if they could open the letter and I told them yes. And when they opened the letter, it was such a devastation of earthquake that it Haiti. So when you are in the seer anointing, when you are flowing in the prophetic, God God showed up, shows up and He show you things, and He show you things that are ahead. He's showing you what you need to do. He's telling you how to pray. So I know that the land need healing right now. There are so much that is going on. You know, the, you know the, the, the politician and everything that is going on. It's like they, they still counting the election or whatever is going on. But we just have to pray this a hedge of protection around us. We have to pray in the mighty name of Jesus so that the Lord will do it. I'm wearing my hat. I love hats. I love hats, woman of God. So just have to pray that God will do it and keep us in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, we just come before you right now and bless your holy name. We magnify you, O oh God. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. We thank you, O oh God, that your kingdom is, is so surely at hand. And thank you, and I'm asking you, oh God, to bless our land in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm asking you, oh God, as we go through this situation, we thank you, God, that we will rest in your everlasting arms in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking you tonight, oh God, for your love and your protection that never goes weak. We are asking you, oh God, to accept our thanks tonight. In Jesus' name. So we are asking right now, oh God, that the comprehensive blood of Jesus, your blood, wash us. Wash away all our sin. Wash away all, all the things that we are thinking. We are asking, oh God, to let your blood wash us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit flow in us tonight. 
in the mighty name of Jesus that we can make prophet, prophetic decree tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray that I, so I pray that you will have your your Bible and I pray that you will have your pen and your notebook in the mighty name of Jesus to write something down. If you catch something that you think will benefit you later, you need to write it down. Hallelujah. You need to write it down. So we just bless the name of the Lord tonight and give glory and honor to him. In Jesus name we pray. Glory to God. So before I, before I do, before I pray for the nation, I want to read something. I want to read, I want to read Isaiah 24 in the mighty name of Jesus. And um, tonight I'm going to read it from the Message Bible. I did not denounce the Message Bible. So I'm going to read it from the Message Bible and then I jump back to my, then I jump back to my King James Bible in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We bless his name. Asa kododoro shata indarabasa. Le basanda da indarabasha kaka darabasa tai. E basata tata rabasa todobo shaya. Jodobo shanda rabasia darabosaya. E basanda rabaraba indarabasa ta. Le basata rabashe ya wasia rabasai. Ya basada da basada da bakada boshinda da basa. Ala basenda da basa inda da bosa. Emeura boshata da inda da bosa ya da boshaya. Ala basanda da basete kura basaya. God bless you woman of God. Le basanda da boshata. E kada basanda da basse bosha satelo bosa madaba inda da bo. Ramanda da basse mandusha munda da bai. Raba koda bosata yendoro bosata leba indoro bosha in the mighty name of Jesus leba koda basanda raba senda raba sata reba sa we just bless the name of the Lord I pray that you you have a you have a notebook I pray that you have a piece of paper to write I love to I love to write notes down and the Lord is talking you see all these all these conversation is has been having all day today. That is so much, but I'm just going to do some of it. What what does does say it, the Lord, and then I'm going to get into the word and pray for the nation. Hallelujah. We just bless the name of the Lord. We give glory unto God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Lord, I just ask you right now in the name of Jesus that as I make the utterance, O oh God, as I decree and declare your utterance, O oh God, I pray, Lord, that the, the pe people will be safe. People will hear what you are saying to the church, what you are saying to us as the church, what you are saying to us, O oh God. And we will heed, O oh Lord, and you will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking you, God, for grace and mercy in the name of Jesus. We are asking you, O oh God, we are asking you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Lord said it's favor. It is our favor to walk together in humility. He said favor, favor favor and we need wisdom to manage it when we get favor we need the wisdom to manage favor favor is just like money and we need the wisdom to manage it so when we he give us favor we need wisdom to manage it in the mighty name of Jesus and when we have favor when we get favor you know we, we decrease we don't decrease we must stay broken Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Favor and humility walk together. He said favor and humility walk together in the name of Jesus. 
And my throat is a little bit dry, so if you see I go like this, I'm going to drink something, hallelujah, some apple juice. So what the Lord, the Lord is telling me right now tonight, we're just going to get into it and then pray, um, pray for the nation. He's telling me that the, lands, uh, lands, the landscape, the landscape will be like a moonscape. He, that the Lord is saying the landscape will be like a moonscape. He's saying that danger is again ahead. He's saying that that he's about to ravish the hurt. He said he's going to ravish the hurt. He said he's going to leave the hurt in ruin. He said he's going to rip everything out by the root and send everyone scurving. He said priests and lay people alike. So he's saying even lay people, he's saying even the, the church, even the pastor, he's saying he's the evangelist, he, even, even the prophet, if they are not living right, he's saying that they're going to, they're going to be scurving, scattering around. Every lay people, he said, he said owner and workers, everybody going to become equal. The owner, the workers, we are going to become equal. We are all going to become alike. He said celebrity and noble alike. Buyer and seller alike. He said they, 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 they have and they have not. The people that have and the people that don't have, we are going to be alike. He said the landscape will be a moonscape, totally wasted. Let me see what is going on right now. And he said, he said, and, and I said, why? And he said, because God says so. He is issue an order. God is issue an order. I don't know if any one of you have ever gone to court and there, there's a judgment that issued that if someone owe you something and there's a judgment that issued that that people, person have to pay you or you have to pay that person. When if that person don't pay, they can, you can see Siege their stuff. You can put a hole on their stuff. So the Lord is saying, because he is issuing an order, he said the, uh, the heart will turn gray. The world going to be silent and sad. He said, he said the heart is going to be silent and sad. And the land will be lifeless. It will be colorless. We will be, we'll, we're going to be sm smelling, not smoke, but we're going to be smelling like sulfur. And once you start smelling like sulfur, sulfur is something that will poison you. Hallelujah, he's saying that the hurt, he said the hurt is polluted by his own people, by his own people. The earth has been polluted. The Lord is saying that the earth is polluted by his very own people. He said the people who have broken the law, therefore a curse. He said a curse like a cancer. Mandaraba Shaba so. He said a curse is like a, like a cancer. We have to go into some decree and cancer and beg him, ask him for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. He's saying it's like cancer because we have broken the law. He said that we have broken the law. He said that we have violated the sacred and eternal covenant. Therefore, there is a curse on us. He said the hurt is the cancer is going to ravage the earth. We have to make decree and declaration, oh God, that it don't. He said it's people pay the price of their sac sacrilege. That sacrilege, the people that don't want to obey God. Sacrilege. They, 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 they're going to dwindle away. Dying out one by one. No more wine. No more vineyard. It's going to be gone. He said no more songs. No more singers. The laughter, the laughter is gone. We are, we are going to have to call acts. We have to, going to go up to plea and beg for cause. Tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. He said the laughter and the fiddle is gone. He said no, no more party with toasts of champagne. If you look now over in um, California, you know every night somebody would might have a party or something. Maybe they cannot do that in Malibu anymore. So there is no toasts of champagne right now. There is no toasting. 
He said as the, 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 everything has gone. He said no more party. And they said no, no more serious drinkers. No more get people gagging on their drink, getting drunk. He said there is no more. He said the city is a chaotic city. The city is chaotic. It's a, a unbelievable. He's saying, he's saying an archery rain. People that is going to be saluting Lucifer. People that are going to be saluting, um, oh God, that man over there, Hitler. People are going to be doing all those stuff. He's talking about that. He's talking about that. So we have to pray for our children in college that they don't go in in, in, in any 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 um any any sorority right now because you don't want them to get A's. You don't want them to die. We have to pray for our kids right now. They, they said that they, they, they said there, are, there is no more joy of the whole world. The, the joy has gone. The good time is gone forever. So we have to go into some serious prayer, praying tonight, saints. In the mighty name of Jesus. He's saying people were going to be, be riot on the street. They're going to be riot on the street. The, the Lord is saying every house is going to be boarded up. So it's it's time for us to try to get along with each other because we don't know where we're going to be living. We don't know who is going to be living with, with us. We don't know who is going to come try to take over our house. I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm just saying what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I'm saying what the Lord is saying. The house is going to be bored up and condemned. You know, I remember one time a few years ago driving through um, the state of Michigan and there were so many beautiful houses that bored up. The place in, in New Jersey, Camden, New Jersey, in the 80s, all these houses was boarded up. And you know, God has restored and he's going to break us again because it's like we are, we are not taking heed. We are not taking heed and we need to take heed. In the mighty name of Jesus, he's saying that the good times are gone. There are more, no more joy. The city is dead and deserted. We don't want that saint. We don't want the city to be dead. We don't want the cities to be deserted. He said that, the, 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 that this is the fate of all nation. Uh, this is the fate of all nation. He's saying this is the fate of all nation. We don't want that. The olive tree is shaking right now. We are asked, but we are asking God. We are asking Him. We are begging. We are beseeching and we are begging for mercy. The video is freezing. I don't know why it's freezing. Oh, we just rebuke that spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus. When a good message is coming, is, is it still freezing? Is it still freezing? The video is freezing. I rebuke that freeziness right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know why it's freezing. Let just just please stand by. Just tell me if it's still freezing, please. Tell me if it's still freezing so I can go get a de another device. Can someone tell me whether or not it's still freezing? Let me try to get your video is fine. Let me see if I can get something else. Wow. Any, anyone else is having freezing? Anyone else is having freezing? I don't know why it's it's freezing. The devil is wicked. The devil is wicked. Yours is okay? Okay. Alright. Alright. I pray that you are you are stop freezing, okay? So that we can just get in the world. I don't want you to miss anything tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Glory and Madashi and But the Lord is saying that there will some of us that will break out in songs. There are some of us that will be singing. There are some of us that will be singing. The Lord is said out of the West. 
will shout to God. Out of the west we will be crying out to the Lord. They will be crying out for the Lord. God is going to come back in the church. God is going to come back in the supermarket. He's going to come back everywhere right now. Because God, God will get all the glory. And the Lord is saying from the sea, from the east, God glory will ascend. He's going to ascend his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to I'm going to pray for the nation and then I'm going to get into a, the rest of thing that the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. So we're just going to do our confession today in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to just pray for ourselves, cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus, barricade our life with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. So Lord, we just thank it tonight. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, for drawing us to prayer and power. Lord, we thank you for the salvation of our soul. We thank you, O oh God, for baptizing us with the Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for producing spiritual gifts in our life. We thank you, O oh God, for the wonderful gifts of praise that is working inside of us. We thank you, O oh God, for lifting up when we fall. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, that into you are intervening in our affair. In the name of Jesus, we are asking you, O oh God, and we thank you for the divine plan that you have for our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you and we thank you, God, for keeping us in perfect peace, whose mind stays on Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, that everything is working for good for us. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for fighting for fighting our adversary for us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, that you give your angel charge over us in the mighty name of Jesus, making us more than a conqueror in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for a healing power which is upon our body, soul, and spirit. We thank you, O oh God, for flooding our heart with the light of heaven. We thank you, O oh God, to always cause us to triumph in Christ Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for turning our curse into blessing. We thank you, O oh God, for enabling us to dwell in safety. We thank you, O oh God, for all the blessing that is upon our life. Now we thank you, O oh God, for the blessing that is upon our children. We thank you, know, O oh God, for silence the foe of the avenger. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you, O oh God, and bless your name. We give you glory and we give you honor. We thank you, O oh God, that you are at our right hand. And you shall not be, we shall not be moved in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, because you're trustworthy. And you are worthy to be praised, O oh God, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for your faithful and marvelous deed. We thank you, O oh God, for your actness of power that surpasses all grace. Greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, for removing spiritual blindness from our eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, for preserving us and keep our feet not from slipping. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, that you are a strong tower. The righteous run to you and is saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, you know that we have to run to the Lord. And when we run to Him, we will be saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have to run to Him. We run to Him and know that we save. You know, we as mother that have children out there, you know, we just have to pray. Sometimes they will get to us. Sometimes they will really try to hurt us with what they are doing and not doing right. But we just have to continue to pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm just going to pray for the nation and then go back into making the decree. And we're just going to try to love on each other and let the Spirit of the Lord flow tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So we go to 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 and 2. That is my foundational scripture when I'm praying for the nation until the Lord change that. Hallelujah. So for 1 Timothy 1 
1 Timothy 2 verse 1 and 2. It said, I exhort thee, thee, the exhort therefore that first of all, supplication and prayer, intercession and giving thanks, being made for all men, for a king and for all that are in, in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all goodness and honesty. We need to live a peaceable life in all, thank you woman of God, in all goodness and honesty. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jeremiah 1 and 10 said, See, I have set this day before thee over the nation and over the kingdom to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant in the mighty name of Jesus. So we just bless the, the name of the Lord tonight. We glorify his name. We magnify him. We give him glory and we give him honor. We give him praise because he's a good God. He's a wonderful God. He's a merciful God. I'm going to go to Ephesians 61. Isaiah 61. I'm sorry. Isaiah 61. Verse 1. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I do not take you, take you all for granted. I'm asking you if you can please share for me. I'm asking you if you can please share. I don't God. God is going to bless your hands either way. God is going to get your bless your hands either way. But you will get an abundance of a profit reward when you share. In the name of Jesus. He will give you a He will give you a reward. He will give you a reward so big, so huge. When you share, God bless you, woman of God. He will give you a big reward. So I'm asking you to share for me. I don't, I don't want to disturb anything here. So if you can hit the button and share for me, I would appreciate it. Hallelujah. So Isaiah 61 verse 1 said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has an anointed me and qualified me to preach the gospel of good tidings to the meek, to the poor, and to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up and heal the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the, to the physical and the spiritual captive, and the opening of the prison, and, uh, and of the eyes to those who are bound, to those who are bound. God bless you. So we are going to pray for the nation right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, the nation is us and who is in authority. We're going to pray that the Lord God will give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding to deal with every kind of situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is telling me to read Ephesians 6, Ephesians um, verse 6, 10 and 16 before I pray. So I like, I like to be obedient. Because I, I wasn't like this before. I was, I was a disobedient child. So, you know, the older you get, you just walk in your Goshen and get to be obedient. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6. Verse 10 for me. Le pakura basete rebo shatai. Le basonda rebo shaya. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of Jesus. Le ba unda basi mandu rebo shai. Ramanda rabasanda rabasatai. Le basonda rebo setiko rebo shai. Re basanda rabasai. Le basanda rabasate. La basanda rabasai. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians 6, 10 and 16. Ephesians 6, 10 and 16. Le bakura basa. Le bararaba senderabo satai. Le basenderaba sandarabo shai. Le indarabo sandaraba sete. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the conclusion, O oh God. It said, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your, your union with Him. 
draw your strength from him that the strength which is boundless and mighty that provide put on the whole armor of god be as uh, as harm as heavy as a soldier which god su supplies that you may be able to successfully stand up against the wile of the devil against the strategy of satan you will be able to stand against it in the mighty name of Jesus, he said you must put on the whole armor. Don't leave off any that you will be able to stand in the mighty name of Jesus. He's telling you that he wants you to stand. It's now for you to wear the whole armor because you're going to the nation. Some of you prophets and prophetess, the Lord is sending you to the nation. He's sending you to the decree and declare to the nation. Don't be afraid to go and make the declaration, whether you are in the supermarket or out. Don't be afraid to make the declaration in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, for we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. We are contending only not with the physical opinion, but against against the power, against the master, the spirit of the spirit, the dark spirit of this world, the ruler of darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness that is in heavenly, that in the supernatural sphere. So they are in the they are in the first and second realm. They are in the first and second realm. They cannot touch the third realm in the mighty name of Jesus. So therefore God is saying to complete armor yourself that you will be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil days. The evil days are here. The evil days are here. Danger is, uh, is here. The danger is around us. There is crisis that around us. So he's telling us to stand firmly to stand in our place in the mighty name of Jesus. He's telling us to stand there for hold your ground, hold your ground, haven't tightened your belt of truth around your loins, around your waist. You need to have that around you, standing with God, having to shod your feet, make sure you have your preparation and have your feet on, make sure you have the gospel of peace, in your mouth that you will lift all covering that you're saving upon upon which you can quench all the flaming missile saints flaming missile are going to come flaming missile of the wicked one is going to try to come but we need to stand firm in the mighty name of jesus praying for people or praying for a for a nation when you pray for people you're taking on what what someone else is on when you're praying you're taking on their battle you're fighting for them when you're taking on in the mighty name of jesus you are taking on so right now in the name of jesus we ask your father god god that as we confess our sin and our iniquity of the land of our ancestor of the land of our people of our leader every violent rejection godly corruption robbery suspicion injustice bitterness blood riot fire rebellion conspiracy shedding of innocent blood child kidnapping murder mismanagement negligence we plead for mercy tonight oh god we ask for forgiveness in the name of jesus lord we are asking to remember our land and redeem it right now in the mighty name of jesus lord we are asking you to save our land from destruction save our land from judgment in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let your healing power begin to operate on our land. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you are asking to remove all forces of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove all forces of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
We are asking you, oh God, we command every spiritual strong man that is in charge of this country, the land of America, or wherever you live. We render it impotent right now. We ask you, oh God, to let every establishment and satanic tree that is around us to be uprooted right now from the root. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against every spirit of Antichrist tonight. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, O oh God, to remove the stone of fire and let revival fall on us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking, O oh God, to let the desire, the plan, the device and the expectation of the enemy for this country be cut off, to be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, O oh God, to remove every satanic curse around us, around this nation, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let all sin of ungodliness, every vice seize in this land, in the mighty name of Jesus, we break every evil covenant, that dedication that made up on this country. We break it right now in the name of Jesus. We ask in the right now, oh God, to close every satanic gate, to close every satanic door that is open on our land, to close it right now, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind every negative forces that is operating in the life of our leaders. We bind their forces right now. Lord, we are asking you tonight to lay your hands of fire upon all powers, all leaders. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind every blood drinking demon. We bind every kidnapping right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind azing in our, in our school. We bind azing in the college right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let the Prince of Peace reign in every department of this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are asking you, O oh God, to give our leader that they see their role and their calling instead of an opportunity to gain wealth. We are asking, oh God, to remove all form of ungodliness. Let it be destroyed by divine fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are asking, oh God, to let our leader fill with divine understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let our leader of wisdom and knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. We are asking, O oh God, to let our government be kind to that what would obtain our, our, our direction and the leading of the Holy Spirit. We are asking right now, God, to silence every satanic prophet, silence every satanic priest, silence every satanic practitioner in the mighty name of Jesus. We forbid them for interfering in the affairs of this nation in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are asking you to let the blood of Jesus cleanse our land, cleanse every blood pollution in the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse blood, blood pollution in our body, cleanse blood pollution in the nation in the name of Jesus. We ask you, oh God, to break every conscious and unconscious agreement between the people and the country and Satan will break them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus we dedicate and reclaim our city we claim our state we claim our country back to Jesus right now in the mighty name of Jesus let the poor power of God be established on our land in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we are asking you to deposit a spirit of revival upon America in the name of Jesus Lord, we are asking you, O oh God, to lay your hands of power upon the armed force, upon the police, upon all the government, upon the fire department that is fighting that wildfire in California. Lay your hands on them, O oh God. We ask you, O oh God, to all college and university to plead the blood of Jesus over them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ fall upon us, fall upon our children, fall upon our land, fall upon our state, 
fall upon our bar right now in the name of Jesus. We ask you right now, oh God, that every threat of political, economical, and social stability in the land where we live, we paralyze them now in the mighty name of Jesus. We frustrate every satanic influence right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command, oh God, confusion and disagreement against every son and bonds woman that planning our demise in the mighty name of Jesus we break the covenant between them oh God in the name of Jesus we paralyze the spirit of borrowing we completely from this country oh Lord show yourself mightily in the affair of this nation in the affair of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus let your kingdom come have mercy upon us have mercy upon our state have mercy upon our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we are asking you oh God to touch us God everyone that evangelize to this country let there be on fire for you oh God in the mighty name of Jesus we are asking you oh God to send laborers that is on fire for you send laborers that will not be afraid send laborers that will not bow send laborers that is of focus on you then laborers that will go on their knees and pray in the mighty name of Jesus we are asking you right now oh God to take the key post from every satanic representative and dismantle it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking you right now, oh God, to let every spiritual throne behind any physical throne in America, let it be bound in the name of Jesus. We ask you, oh God, on behalf of this country, let every ruler, every satanic voice be null and void in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking you right now, oh God, that we decree alignment of this situation around Christian, around Christian homes, around Christian businesses in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking you right now, God, to dethrone every strange king, to dethrone every strange prince, to dethrone every strange priestess and priests, kings, and all Lord laborer that is not laboring for you, O oh God. We dethrone them right now. We ask you right now, O oh God, to let all principality and power, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places that is militating against us. We ask it to be bound and to be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, O oh God, let righteousness come to our borough. Let righteousness come to our city. Let righteousness come to our nation in the mighty name of Jesus that you will get the glory, O oh God. You will get the honor. You will get the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you, O oh God. We are asking you and we are begging you, O oh God, to heal our land, heal our nation, heal our town, heal our borough in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Father. We give glory unto you. We give blessing unto you. We bless the name of the Lord. We give you honor and we give you praise. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you and we bless your holy name. We magnify you, Jesus. We magnify you. King of glory, we worship you. King of glory, we honor you. King of glory, give you glory. King of glory, we give you praise. Because you are a good God. You are a good God. You are a mighty God. You are mighty and you are strong in battle. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we come right now tonight. And we are asking the Lord. We are begging for mercy for, to God. We are asking God. We are begging him for mercy. We are asking him to show us mercy. We don't want to live in doomsday, saints. We don't want all the things that is going on around us. There is so much stuff that is going on around us. And we, we just want mercy from above. We want God to show us mercy. 
We want mercy. The fire is not stopping. And after the fire, we're going to have a mudslide. And after the mudslide, we're going to have a volcano. We are, I'm just telling you right now to just prepare yourself. I'm telling you right now, make sure you get the water. Make sure you have something extra in your house. Because it would, with there, there is contamination on the land. There are contamination on the land, saints. The Lord is saying right now that we have violated the sacred eternal covenant. Therefore, there is a curse like cancer. We don't want that curse as cancer. We don't want it. We are going to act and beg for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus we're going to ask God to have mercy on us we don't want that we are asking God to have mercy we are begging him to come to the mercy seat saying we, we cannot take our salvation we cannot take it for a joke now I'm telling you we, we've been hearing this from the day we were born I, I strongly believe that many of us that is on this page grew up in the church. And that's my strong belief that we grew up in the church. My strong belief that we know the word of God. My strong belief that we are willing to learn. My strong belief that we are willing to learn. I am willing to learn. And I grew up around the church. But I never see so much de devastation. I remember there was a time that if somebody do something wrong, they would, I'm sorry, they would run to the church. They would run for shelter in the church. Now people are coming in the church to kill us. They are coming inside the church to kill us. They don't respect the church anymore. Saints, we need to get that fire back. We need to get that fire back. We, that fire is here. The fire is here. We need to get it back. We need to, we need to refrain from lying. We need to refrain from speaking evil. We need to refrain from false doctrine. We need to get our fire back. We need to can lay hands and people recover. You know, I, I, Self-praise is no recommendation. But I have to use myself as an example. I have to use people that are around me that know me as an example. When I go on the street and when I do street ministry and when I put holes, hold the misplaced, inconvenient, temporarily inconvenient people. They tell me that they are, they are feeling like an electrocution. They're feeling like like a, like when you have a, 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 a electrical cord and the electrical cord have a shortage in it and you touch it and it zap you. That's what they tell me that they are feeling right now. I, right now, one, one of my children, when, when if I am not feeling good, and if she, so if they start praying for me, I, I can, I just feel something just moving like this, zoo, 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 like electric current. And I know the electric current, the fire of God are in you. The fire of God in, are in each and every one of us. It is there. It is there. It is inside of us saints. And we need to activate that. In the mighty name of Jesus. We need to activate it. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is saying. From the four winds. From the east, west, north and south. And the seven sea. We hear the singing. All praise are to the righteous one. But I said, I said that I all well and good for somebody. But all I can see is doom, doom, and more doom. The Lord is saying, all he's seeing is doom, 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 and more doom. I know that. I know that we are saying, saints, that every, we've been hearing this 
preaching for so long and nothing is happening. We've been hearing God is coming, God is coming, and there is nothing happening. I remember when I was in New York and um when my when my lawyer called me, they were in the office and I said, What's going on? And they said to me, they think something is happening. And I said, I said, like what? What's going on? And she said to me, she think there's a plane that crashed in the World Trade Center. Nobody did not believe that World Trade Center was going to go down. It was a normal day. Some God allowed some people not to go to work. But some people went in. Saints, I'm telling you that we need, we, we need to calm ourselves down. We need to calm ourselves down. We need to ask God to have mercy on us. When we get up, we are using his oxygen. We are using his, we need to ask God to have, can I have the next one? We need to ask God to have mercy on us. We need to beg for mercy because when that thing happened at World Trade Center, nobody did not believe that. What is happening right now in, in, in California is a lake of fire. It's a lake of fire. I work in California. I work at Mali, uh, uh, at, 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 um, Burbank. I work at Burbank. You know, I went up to Malibu and those places, but I can I know that Burbank is very flat. What is going on up in the hills? What is going on up in the mountain? People are dying around us, saints. People are dying around us. And we, we just we just need to just talk the truth. We just need to reason with God. We need to beg. We just need to ask Him for mercy. We need to ask Him to forgive us because we, we are not right. I'm not here to judge. I'm not right. Sometimes I'm not right. But but there we can ask Him to bring back mercy in the building. We can ask Him to bring mercy in the in the building. The Lord is saying that that we 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 are we are at one another throat. We are cutting each other throat. He said that we we are at another throat. But he said us we are there are booby traps. The booby traps is around us, even from our family. Booby traps is around us. If if you know what is a soldier, when they go to to those places. And they step on landmine. Landmine are booby trap that is set. Right now, booby trap are set in the realm of the spirit. Booby trap are set in the realm of the spirit against us. Booby trap are set, saints, in the realm of the spirit against us. And we have to come against those in the mighty name of Jesus. Chaos. Chaos is going to be pouring from the sky. Chaos is going to be pouring out from the sky in the mighty name of Jesus. Chaos is going to be pouring from the sky in the mighty name of Jesus because we are like around and around into a pit. The Lord is saying that we, we, we cannot run from terror. He's saying we cannot run. If, if, we, we, if we can run from terror, we will fall in a pit. So each time we are trying to run, we are falling into a pit. So we need to be good to each other. We need to be good to each other. We need to be good to e each other. We, we don't need to hold on to the prophecy. We don't need to hold on to the prophetic word. We need to share it because people, people are dying saints. People are dying. And we, we need, we need to let the heart stop crumbling. We need to let the foundation stop crumbling in the mighty name of Jesus. And it, read and it go on. The Lord is saying that, that our sin, our sin is piled up and it's too much. It collapses and we won't get up again. We don't want to collapse and not getting up. We want to get up. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to get up. In the mighty name of Jesus, we don't want to be humiliated. We don't want to be humiliated. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want the ruling from Mount Zion. 
We want to rule in from Mount Zion. Hallelujah. We want Mount Zion to rule. So if we have to sound the alarm in the mighty name of Jesus, we need to sound the alarm in the mighty yes. Yes, ma'am. In the mighty name of Jesus, we need to sound the alarm. You know, today while the Lord was talking, he was saying so much. He was saying that, he was saying even Lucifer. He was saying Lucifer of favor with God. But, but, but he, he, he didn't have any humility. He wasn't broken. He was so puffed up. And he needs so much from God that he did not have the humility. We need to walk in brokenness. We need to walk in humility. When we walk in brokenness and humility, that's when the prophetic word will come. That's when the prophetic word will learn. That's when the Lord will talk to you. That's when you will listen what he's saying. He's, he will, he's talking, but are we listening? We, we, we have to respect ourselves. We have to humble ourselves under, under the mighty wing of God. So he will exalt us in due season. Hallelujah. He will exalt us in due season. Sometimes the Lord will have you not, not mingling. Sometimes he will have you not mingling. Sometimes he will have you by yourself. And you will be wondering, why, why am I by, your, by myself? But the Lord will show you who to pick. The Lord will show you who he need in your crowd. The Lord will show you who he need for you to walk with. And the Lord will show you who he need to take you to that destiny. You never know who is a destiny helper. Sometime our destiny helper come and will run them away from us. But whenever God is, when God in, inspire you, He will put, He will, He don't, you don't need somebody else input. Once God inspire you, you don't need someone else input. Hallelujah. Once you've been inspired, you don't need anyone else input. You know, we have to, we have, we have to take heed and know that we are in a perilous time. We are in a perilous time that we need, we need to love on each other. We need to love on each other because what, what persecution do? Persecution grow us. Persecution grow us. We don't know what we are. We don't know who God called us to be until we are being persecuted. Once we are persecuted, once we go through that fire, we know what we made of. We know what we stand of in the mighty name of Jesus. So we will go through stuff, but we do not want to be left behind. We don't want to be left behind. We want a new mind that we will not be left behind in the mighty name of Jesus. Because persecution grow us. You cannot, somebody will tell you that they are afraid. Something might be going on and they are afraid. You, 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 they, are, they are fearful, but you have to be, be fearful to confront fear. Once you are fearful, you will confront it. You will confront it. You will confront it in the name of Jesus. You will confront it. So we have to know that God is with us. We have to know to stay focused because we are carrying someone inspiration. We cannot be selfish. This is a time when we need to bond together. This is a time when we need to grow together. This is a time when we need to work together. This, time, this is a time when we need to encourage ourselves. We need to have our heart clean. We need to have our heart clean by staying in our stream. Clean our heart. Sometimes I don't know who go to the lake or who have a nice lake beside them. Or who go to the shore, and sometimes you will see some fish. I can remember as a as a little girl, and I will see fish in the water. And when I see them in the water, they will they will be in their own stream. They will be in their own stream swimming. You know that they, they, they set apart. Even the fish, they are set apart. If you have ever looked down into the lake. And, and you can see the bottom of the lake on a nice day. The fish, they set apart. 
They are, so sometimes we have to set ourselves apart because we are carrying someone inspiration. Hallelujah. So we need to treat people the, the, the way in which we want to be treated. We need to treat people the way in which we want to be treated. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord is telling me again that we need, oh the video is freezing. The devil is a liar from the pit of hell. We just plead the blood of Jesus against freezing up right now. Is anyone else is freezing up? Is anyone video is freezing up? We plead the blood of Jesus. I'm asking you, oh Lord, to unfreeze this video in the mighty name of Jesus. Your people need to hear the word, oh God. Okay, all right. Um, Carolyn, I don't know what's um, wrong with your, your, your thing. Maybe you need to move, sweetie. Maybe you need to just make a little divine shift. Don't leave the house now. Just slide over a little bit. Just slide over a little bit and see if it will be okay. Hallelujah. Just slide over. The Lord is dealing with me again about forgiveness. I'm asking, I'm asking you, my, um, my friends. I'm asking you, my sisters. I'm asking you, my brothers. I want, I want you to, oh, thank you. Who's, who's messaging me right now? I know, I want, I want you to forgive. I want you to walk in forgiveness. I want you to walk in forgiveness. I don't want you to hold up any grudge with anyone. I want you to walk in the spirit of forgiveness. I'm begging you, I'm asking you to walk in forgiveness in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you to walk in forgiveness. I'm asking you to walk into forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm asking you to walk into forgiveness. In the name of Jesus, the Tator, I want you to walk in it. In the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. I tell her I'm doing a live feed right now. And I will talk to her. Hallelujah. Laba Koda Boshaya. Laba Sandara Bosha. Leba Kura Bo Sandara Basataya. Le Mandara Basindara Boshatai. Raba Kura Bo Sandara Basatai. Le bakura bo sandarabai. Le ba sandarabasete. Le hondro bo sandarabai. Le ba sandarabasaya. I know sometimes you're asking God for something. And you might be asking God over and over. You're asking. And you're not hearing. You feel like you're not hearing. Sometimes you feel tempted. But the time when you're feeling tempted... That's when God is silent. He is just keeping quiet to see if he can trust you with that project. He's keeping quiet to see if he can trust you. He, he, he wants to bestow so much upon you. He wants to pour so much in you, both spiritually, both financially. He wants to pour in you. But he's saying, can I trust her? Can I trust him? And he can trust me. And he can trust me. He can tr trust me. Because sometimes you say you're waiting on the, on the calling of God. But the, uh, in the meantime, God is giving you a divine audition. He is, you are getting an audition. He is he, watching you. He's watching your move. He's watching what you're doing. He's watching everything that you're doing because he's saying, I want to, I want to release a million dollar to this woman. I want to release a million dollar to this man. But I want, I want to see if I can trust her. I want to see if I can trust him. What is he going to do with this, this money? What is going to do with this, with this? What is she going to do with this money? Now I'm going to give her four houses. You can only live in one house. You know, I have a few bedrooms. I have a few bedrooms. And I've been sleeping in one bedroom now almost for a year. And I have I can I can go to a different one. But I just I, I just I just stay in one. You know? So I'm saying to myself, Lord, what, what am I doing with so much room? 
So what I what I do, you know, I will I will let I will give people a place to stay. You know, tell them you, you know I'm not going to pay the mortgage anymore. But I will tell them um or I will pay the mortgage. You know, if they're going to stay in a short term, but I'm gonna you have to pay for the water and everything. You know, so God trying to trust us. He's trying to trust us. So I'm going to pray and ask him to change this, the rule for our sake tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to ask the Lord to change the rule for our sake tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't want wrong people to train us in the name of Jesus. There's some people that used to, you know, you know, like I used to warfare. I you because people send so much warfare. So I I you I respond to people back with warfare. But sometimes they are maybe trying to to get something to me. But because I used to warfare, because I used to people always warfaring, the first thing that I'm looking at, you're trying to start something. But we just have to just trust God. We need to just trust God and take him at his word. So we are going to ask the Lord to arise tonight and change the rule for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to beg God for mercy tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to ask him for mercy tonight. In the name of Jesus. Leba sandara basso to the boshai. Rabba kuda bo sandarai. Leba seta the boshatai. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I go to read the word of God tonight, I'm just going to read Ephesians 6, 11 and 17. That the law is said, put on the full armor of God. That you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For we struggle, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. But against ruler, against the authorities, against the powers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness, against the evil people in heavenly realms, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. So we want to gird our truth tonight with the loin. We want to gird tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the word of God says in Matthew 16, 18. And this rock I shall build my church. And the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. So we pray that the gate of hell will not prevail against our church. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we ask in the Lord to arise and plead our cause. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to read Genesis 49. I'm going to read and I'm going to, as, as the Lord says so, and whenever he tells me to stop, I will stop and you can read it in your entirety. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Here is the reading of God's holy word. And Jacob called his son and said, Gather together that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last days. Gather Jacob, call his sons, and tell his sons to gather together. Warn them to gather together to tell them what is going to befall them in the last days. He said, gather together and hear you, son of Jacob. And listen to Israel, your father. Reuben, you are, you are my Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellence of the of the dignity and the excellence of power. Unstable as water, you shall not excel, because you went up to your father's bed. That you defiled it. Uh oh. He went up. He went up to my couch. 
Simon and Levi are brothers. Instrument of mighty Jesus. Mighty Jesus. Instrument of purity. And, their, and in their dwelling place, let not my soul enter, enter their counsel. Let not my honor be unti untied to their assembly. Mighty Jehovah. Let not my hand be untied to their assembly. For in their hunger they slew a man. And in their self well they, they armstrung an ox. Curse be their hunger for their fears. And their wrath for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob. And scatter them in Israel. Judah, or, Judah, you are he whom your brother shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemy. Your father's children shall bow down before you. Judah is the lion as well. From the prey of, of, of my son, you have gone up. He bowed down, he lie down as a lion, and as a lion, who shall rouse him? You see, curse and blessing. This is Jacob cursing his son. Thank you, woman of God. This is Jacob cursing his son. I don't know what I'm coming down with, but I, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. This is him right here, cursing his, his son. Right here, he's saying, he began with, with Jacob, he began with warm words, and he praised Reuben, because he said Reuben is his firstborn. Thank you. If we know, and we have a firstborn, the firstborn, sometimes we look at the firstborn better than the, se the second or the third, the fifth, sixth, or seven. We look at them different. And this is what, this is, this is in the Bible, saints. He was looking at his firstborn because he is telling his firstborn what he did. But he ended up rebuking him. Because he was sleeping and around. So he start rebuking and he start blessing and he start cursing. And sometimes we have to be very careful. And sometimes I, I myself have to remind myself of that. And I know if there are mothers there, sometimes you remind yourself of that. You understand? Because Simon and Levi... Simon and Levi are linked because of their fears and their cruel revenge that they took against the Shikamen and their people. Even though they, are, they raped their sister, he was telling them you did not have to take out this problem on them. Hallelujah. So we just have to be careful and I read verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judea. Nor, nor la, the lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, unto him shall he, shall be the obedience of the, of the people, binding his donkey to the vine, and his donkey called to the choice void, vine. He washes his garment in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grape. His eyes are darker than wine. And his teeth whiter than milk. I don't want to see that person. Because he's washing his clothes in grapes. I don't eat grapes. But he's, as you know grape stains. So I don't know what was going on in his head. Hallelujah. I don't know what was going on with him. But he's washing his clothes in, in, um, in the blood of grape. So I'm assuming it was red grapes. Hallelujah. Zebulun shall dwell by the haven of the sea, he shall become a haven of ship, and his border shall adjoin Sidian. Azekiah is a strong donkey, lying down between two burdens. 
he saw that the rest, the rest was good and that the land was pleasant. He bowed his shoulder to, to bear a burden and he became a band of slaves. Then shall judge his people as one of the tribe of Israel. Then shall be a serpent by the way, a viper by the path. Let me see, let us understand what 17 is saying. Wow, 17 is very deep. Dan shall judge. Dan name is related to the word meaning judge. See, I told you, Dan shall judge. But think about him binding and being like a serpent. Being like a viper going to be in his path. That possibly mean that, that, that the son of Dan descendant, they're going to abandon their faith. And he's trying to tell them not to abandon their faith. Because the, yet the, the, God, the, the, the godly can still expect salvation from the Lord. We can still expect salvation from the Lord. So we have to be very careful. Hallelujah. We have to be very careful. We have to be very careful. We have to be careful of spoken words. We have to be careful in the mighty name of Jesus. So that it, so that the rider shall fall backward. I have waited, I have waited for your salvation, O Lord. God, a, God, God, which is good. A troop shall stamp up an him, but he shall triumph at last. Breed from Asher shall he be rich, and he shall yield royal dainties. Naphtali is a deer let loose. He used beautiful words. Joseph is a fruitful, fruit, is fruitful boy, a fruitful boy by a well. His branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved him. Shot at him and ate him. But his bow remained in strength. And the harm of his hand were made strong. By the, by the, by the, by the hand of the almighty, almighty God of Jacob. So right here. Right here. The Lord. The imagery of the archer who shot at him represent jo joseph personal experience they have been trying for, for joseph for so long just as people will try you people will try you in the fire people will accuse you people will lie at you people will look at you laugh in your face and as soon as you, they, you turn your back they try to annihilate you they will try to assassinate you but if you hold on to the unchanging hands of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if thank you, thank you, woman of God. If you hold on to God unchanging hand, He will never leave, leave you, for now He forsake you. It said, by God your Father will help you, and by the Almighty you He will bless you with blessing of heaven above. Blessing of the deep that lies beneath. Blessing of the breast and of the womb. Blessing of your father of excel. The blessing of my ancestor. Upon, upon the uttermost bound of the everlasting hill. They shall be on the head of Joseph. And on the crown of the head of him. Who separate from his brother. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. If in the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel. Hallelujah. I remember I told you that God will pick the twelve. God bless you, man of God. God will choose the twelve. God will, God will choose for you. Once God is in the midst, this is what he was saying today. Not, didn't read it, but this is what he was saying today. 
that he is the one that will pick the twelve. He said he is the one that will pick the twelve. And here we are reading at verse 29 that all these tribes, all these are the twelve tribes of Israel. And this is what their father spoke to them. And he blessed them. He blessed each one according to his own blessing. He blessed them separately. He gave them a separate blessing. He did not give them the same blessing. Because sometimes we will give one of our children something. We will say here is something. Don't let your sister know. Don't let your brother know. It, this is, these are things that is embedded in the word of God. The fourth four term of Jacob used for God is in the blessing of Joseph. Is the God who your father. Earlier Jacob, Jacob has described the Lord. The Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Here he is expressing his faith in God. Who has blessed him. Finally Jacob called to God, the God Almighty. That is sixth and final time. The El Shaddai, the King of Glory. Thank you, the King of Glory. That is used in Genesis. The name of God is found in the association with Abram. So we're going to ask God tonight to plead our cause. We are all going to ask God to change the rule for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to ask the Lord to change the rule for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because sometimes we have to go and we have to ask because we sin daily. If any man telling you that they don't sin, they are telling you a lie. We sin daily. We sin daily. I have to go in repentance every day. I'm not going to come up in here and pretend to be something I'm not. I have to ask God to heal me. I have to ask him for, to repent. I have to ask him to forgive me. I have to ask him to give me mercy. Because sometimes things, things that beset us will let us sin. Things that beset us will let us sin. So we have to ask God to forgive us. We have to beg for mercy at all times. Because there is no competition in God's kingdom. We don't need to fight each other. We don't need to backstab each other. We just need to love on each other. Know that God is God. Know that God is God all by himself. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to read Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And then I'm going to ask God now. Ask him for grace and mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It says for I know the thought. That, that I think toward you, say the Lord, the thought of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and hope. The Lord wants to give us a future. The Lord wants to give us hope. So we are going to center ourselves tonight. I'm going to ask God to give us a future and a hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Man of God, if you stay on long enough, the Lord will give me a word for you. So we just want to ask God to give us a miracle. We're going to ask Him to give us a future. We're going to ask Him to give us hope in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, we just bless your name and we thank you. We give you glory and we give you the honor. We give you praise, O oh God. We are asking you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, to forgive us for our sin, for to give us for our trespasses, to forgive us, to wash us, and cleanse us with your, with your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cover ourselves right now with the blood of Jesus. We dilute ourselves, oh God, and the diluted blood of Jesus will build a wall of fire around us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking you, oh God, to forgive us right now, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we read Genesis 49 and Confession Jeremiah 29, 11, 
because the Lord think of us to do us good. He want to give us good. He want to give us peace. He want to give us a future. His thought towards us are good. And we want to thank him and bless his name. So right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I thank you, O oh God. Forgive us the miracle that will make us forget our past trouble. We ask in you, O oh God, to give us the miracle that let us forget our past trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking you, O oh God, tonight, that every power that aid to see us love, we ask them to scatter tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking you, O oh God, that every power that is monitoring our destiny for evil, we command them to dry it up right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my Lord, and my God, the change the rule for my sake, like you did with Ephraim, in the mighty name of Jesus. We call on the God of Elijah, O oh God, to arise and disappoint our enemy right now, in the name of Jesus. We root up every evil root of our dream attack. We ask them to dry it up tonight. We ask you, O oh God, that every trouble of the night, every trouble of the day, we command it to bow in the mighty name of Jesus. Angel of the living God, we are asking right now, O oh God, to scatter those that is plotting against our destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you tonight, O oh God, that every demonic dragon that is working against our life, we send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus. We ask you, O oh God, that every terror at night to scatter before us in the name of Jesus. We, O oh God, we have dominion over every satanic challenge, every challenge that we face, O oh God. You will give us, we will give us, O oh God. You you will give us the victory in the mighty name of Jesus because we have dominion over it. In the name of Jesus, we are confronting, oh God, everything that challenge our power, that challenge the power of God in our life. We challenge you tonight in the name of Jesus. We confront every witchcraft challenge by the power of the God, God of Elijah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking you, oh God, that the oppressor and the weapon, that for our Red Sea, shall be drowned in our Red Sea tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cancel every weapon of discouragement that is against us, oh God. We are asking you tonight, oh God, to arise and change the rule for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking you, oh God, every broom that is sweeping our blessing away, we command it to die by fire in the name of Jesus. We are asking you, oh God, to let our life experience divine acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for divine acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stagnancy right now, every satanic pregnancy, we remove it from our life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking, oh God, as we call forth Lazarus from the grave, we call forth our life from the grave right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you, know, oh God, to cancel every power that is swallowing our divine blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking, you, oh God, to let every evil candle that has refused to let us go, we ask it to remove itself right now because we command double destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking, you, oh God, to to let me out every candle. We ask you, know, oh God, to out every incense in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, know, oh God, to enter right now. Let us enter into our prophetic destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. We call forth our prophetic destiny right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to the belly of the water. To release our breakthrough tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we are asking, oh God, every fear in our hometown, we command it to be buried at the Red Sea in the mighty name of Jesus. We bury our fear tonight at the Red Sea, oh Lord. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we take the wheel of our off the chariot tonight. We take the wheel off tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cut off the ministry of Judas. We cut off the ministry of Judas. We cut off the ministry of Judas from our finance, from our life, from our family. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cut them off tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking the Lord to change our rule. Change the rule for us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking you, O oh God, to breathe afresh upon our glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking you, O oh God, to breathe afresh on us. Open your glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Judas. We cut Judas off. We cut him off. We cut Judas off tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Judas is not good. We cut him off. In the mighty name of Jesus. Judas teach us to pray. But we cut him off tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we every enemy of our life, we uproot them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of God fall upon us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking the Lord, O oh God, to change the rule for our sake. To change the rule for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. To change the rule for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have to ask the Lord. To change the rule for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because we, not, we do not always walk. In the precept and the law of God. So we have to ask God to change the rule. For our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have to ask the Lord to favor us in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to ask the covenant that we are make that is affecting our life. We have to ask God to break it off in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to ask God to break soul ties from us in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to be in the family of God in the name of Jesus. We have to ask the Lord to touch us. We have to ask the Lord to anoint us. We have to ask the Lord to anoint us with his power, to anoint us with his fire, to anoint us with his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not be left behind. Let us not be left them behind. Let our new wine be poured in our new mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let persecution grow us. Let persecution grow us strong. Forget who reject you. Don't watch who reject you. Don't watch who reject you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because when they reject you, God is promoting you. In the mighty name of Jesus. When they reject you, God is promoting you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So take comfort. Know that God loves you. Take comfort that you are in his resting arm. Take comfort that is, is producing good in you. Take comfort that is healing you. Take comfort that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Take comfort that if God is for you, who can be against you? Take comfort with the unchangeable changer and in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you cannot throw wine into all wine skin. Because it will explode. It will burst. So as God leaves some people behind you, he wants to pour new wine in your new mind. While he pouring it in your skin, he wants to pour new wine in your new mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
So don't worry about who left you behind. Do not worry about who left you behind. Do not worry about that. And remember that whatever you don't love, the enemy can take from you. What you love, the enemy cannot take it from you. But what you don't love, that's what the enemy grabbed from you. That's what he will grab from you. God will put you in the garden. He will put you back in the garden to see your heart. God will place you back into the garden. He will put you back into the garden of Eden to see what is in your heart. So God is saying tonight to stay focused because you are carrying someone. You are carrying someone inspiration. You are carrying someone anointing. So treat people the way that you want to be treated. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us try to keep our heart clean, our mind clear. Let us walk in forgiveness. Let us walk in forgiveness. Even though forgiveness is a decision, you make that first move to make that forgiveness. You make that choice to forgive someone. In the mighty name of Jesus, ask the Lord, the, ask the Lord, Everything that you cannot go wrong, you go strong. When you're with the Lord, you cannot go wrong. You will go strong. He will take you from glory to glory to glory. Because love do not harm. When somebody is going to tell you that they love you, and then they are going to turn around and hurt you, love do not harm people saying, so we have to know our choice of words in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to know the choice of word because the little foxes, they will spoil the old way. The little foxes around you, look for the little foxes. They will spoil the vine. They will eat on the vine. They will eat on the vine in the mighty name of Jesus. So do not allow the wrong people to train you. Allow right people in your life. Open your heart to right people. Open your heart to good people. Open your heart to sincere people. Open your heart to people that they don't have a gender. They don't have a hidden agenda. You know what they are thinking. You know their agenda. Their agenda is not hidden in the mighty name of Jesus. So you just open your heart. Open your heart to people. Open your heart to love. Open your heart to believe. Open your heart so the Lord can work on you. The Lord can work in you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray that you have some vital capsule tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you will love on your neighbors. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you don't run from here to there. To get any lie and deception. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you will not rebel against authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you will read the word of God. I pray that you will not have any counterfe counterfeit spiritual authority over you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray your strength. I pray your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the fresh oil of God. The fresh anointing be in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that you eat the word of God. I pray that you stand firm on his word. Because his word will never lie. It will never fall to the ground. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray that the Lord God of Elijah will be up on you tonight. I pray that you will be overcome every obstacle in your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the anointed that break the yoke to destroy yoke in the name of Jesus will be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
the Son of the Living God. I pray fresh oil on you. I pray divine revelation to you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you will have a divine visitation from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And I leave you with Psalms 91. He who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power can you can no foe can withstand. I will say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. My God, in you will I lean on. You will lean and rely on God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lean and rely on God in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't get diverted. Don't let someone divert you. Don't get distracted. You are, a, you are on your way to the prophetic blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be fool. Don't be bamboozled. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is pouring new wine in you. Don't be distracted. The enemy is going to come in and he's going to try and distract you. Don't let him distract you. In the mighty name of Jesus, don't let him show up as a dwarf. Do not let him show up as a dwarf to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I leave Psalms 91. I bless you with Psalms 91. In the mighty name of Jesus. That God will get the glory. He will get the honor and he will get the praise. We just thank the Lord and bless his name. I have, you know, some things, a meeting that I have to attend tomorrow. So I'm not going to stay with you um, all night tonight. But um, I pray your strength and as I pray mine. I cover you with the blood of Jesus and I pray pray tonight that the Lord will do it for us in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will favor us tonight. I pray that the Lord will show us favor in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will change the rule for our sake. He will change the rule for our sake in the name of Jesus. That all glory belong to God. All honor belong to Him. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray right now, O oh God, that there shall be no backlash, no retaliation. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord God of Elijah bless you and keep you tonight. May the God His face shine upon you and give you peace. Surely goodness and mercy of God shall follow you. All the days of your life that you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So shall it be. There shall be no backlash or retaliation in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you with the Lord love. And I will see you tomorrow. I will stay longer with you tomorrow. God bless you and thanks for joining me. I don't take it lightly and I don't take it for granted. I love you with the love of the Lord. I see you soon. Good night.